Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Hernandez and I do uh, different videos every other week. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I would like for you to stick around. And thank you so much for watching, for clicking this video and going on ahead and watching it. <laughs> Today I want to talk about how I got the job that I have. I am a preschool support teacher at a preschool. But I want to explain to you or tell you how I got this job just because um, it is very God-centered. This I wouldn't have had this job if it weren't for God. And I'll be graduating in May. And um, I've been wanting to get a job for like last semester. Like I was thinking about it last summer. So summer 2016. And I was thinking about it and I was praying about it. Um, since I am a Christian, I would do use prayer. We believe that prayer makes a big difference and prayer works. So I, I had been praying um, to God to bless me with the job. And it was a very specific detailed prayer but before that I want to backtrack really quick um, when I was in high school I'm, I've always been the type of person that I stay organized and I plan my life ahead I always have like my my 10-year plan and already I always have everything organized I already, I already know what I want to do when I'm gonna do it when everything's gonna happen so um, when I was in high school I made a plan where like I already knew what major I wanted when I was gonna graduate and what I wanted to be doing but in that but notebook I wrote down that after I graduated high school and in my last year of college before I I graduated I wanted to get a job and that I wanted that job to be a preschool like I wanted to work at a preschool I didn't want to work for my first two years of college because I wanted to focus on school and I am determined to finish all the way to the end so that was my plan I always had everything very organized so going into my second to last semester which is last fall like at the end of summer actually of, of summer 2016 I began to say a prayer and my prayer was like, God, you know that I need a job. I need to get a job now for the experience for my future career. Which my future career, what, what I want to do is be a child psychologist. You know, but major in family psychology. So, you know, it's, I'll do a different video on like my major or whatever if you guys are interested or anything. Um, but my ultimate goal is to be a child psychologist. So I, I wanted to work at a preschool to get experience with children for my future career and I had volunteered at a counseling center where I would sit in with a therapist and the client so I was getting I wanted to get the experience of the children which I kind of did because I was a Sunday school teacher for a couple years and get the experience of the counseling side which was amazing because God was just amazing and I, he gave me the opportunity to be able to do that get both uh, things that I wanted so anyways I so I began to pray and I said God you know I really need a job um I wanted to be high pain. I don't, I mean, not high pain, like uh, high pain. But I mean, like, I wanted to be higher than minimum wage, to be flexible with my school hours, to be flexible, flexible with my church. I wanted to revolve around you. So I said, God, I'm keeping you at the center. If I get offered a job that I have to quit going to prayer, which we have on Tuesdays, or quit going to church on Fridays, or intervene with any church activities or any school um, time, I was gonna reject them. and for those that don't know I usually like I usually get my school hours like just two days of the week so then I have for example like this next semester I'll be going to school Monday and Wednesday from from 8 a.m. in the morning to 7 30 p.m. so that means I would be able to work Tuesday Thursdays and Fridays and um, they would say I was being a little too picky but I was expect I had high expectations or like like it wasn't like that wasn't gonna happen so then I was like oh I don't know I serve a God that is mighty and powerful and he likes when we're specific in our prayers so I began to pray and I was telling my, I, I asked my parents to pray and um, I asked some friends that I know that had like a lot of faith in me to like pray as well and um, I had applied to two I had applied to a lot of places but a lot of places asked for experience and I didn't have a lot of experience like an actual work history I had volunteer history a lot of volunteer work and I had uh, I had a really good resume in the sense where okay if I didn't I don't have a work history but I make up I make up all that work with like certain school activities for example I'm in the honor society program at my school and that looks really good in um, my resume or like all the things that I can do because it may sound silly Silly, like okay well I uh, cater at this place it may sound silly like I'm not gonna put it in my resume but anything anything helps anything really does help your resume so I added anything that everything that I could do like for example the counseling the counseling place where I, I volunteered at, I added that in for example the Sunday school I added that in like everything that I knew how to do like everything that I've done 
I put it in my resume. And I'm like, okay. And I wrote on there, like, no work history, but I could do this and I could do that. So um, we began to pray. And I had applied to um, be a police aide just because I really wanted to work at a police station. Because since I already worked with um, the counseling center, when we would get the clients sent to the counseling center, um, I wanted, I, we got them after whatever the situation was you know so after the situation that they got they went through we we would get them so i wanted to work in a area where i could see the process of them being sent to counseling you know what i mean so like sent to jail for this amount of time and then like the case being developed so i wanted to work um in a police station where i could see people being like brought in or uh, like obviously it's not like a prison or a jail but you know like the police station they have like a little um cell just a tiny little cell like you know so um i wanted to work there to see because that's i feel like that's where most cases develop not most but a lot of cases develop so i really wanted to work in that uh, field in that area in that environment so i was praying and that was that job was actually a low paying job and for the police one it takes like a three month uh a three month time to know whether you get in or not because you have to go take in a test one day um i get a call from a preschool and in my mind i was like okay like they're gonna want me to work for them I'm like lord i hope i don't get this job because you know i really want to work for the police station you know so i hope i don't get what this one so they, and they're like okay um we would like to have an interview with you and i said okay my now boss she was asking me what days i could go into work and i told her well i'm a college student i could only work um monday wednesday friday that was my last semester uh, schedule I'm a college student, so um, I'd be going to school the other days. And then she's like, okay, let me call you back right now. I'm going to ask my, my boss, like her director, if it's okay to work with my schedule. Like if it's okay with for me to work with my schedule. And then she was like, okay. A couple minutes later, I get a call, and then she's like, oh, my director's perfectly fine with it. Um, we were just wondering, is it always going to be that way? And I said, no, next semester, I couldn't possibly work my schedule around the schedule you want to give me. So she's like, perfectly fine. She's like, we want you to come in um, at this time, this day, da, 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 for your interview. I'm like, okay, sounds great. So I, as the day went by, I was like, okay, like, this is exciting. This is my, one of my first interviews. So I got ready for my interviews, actually, a Monday. And um, I remember that, like, I didn't dress up professionally, like, with a blazer or anything. I kind of just dressed up very casual. Like, I just wore a dress and my hair was kind of like, eh. When I drove there, I was expecting a very small preschool. Like, a very small preschool. And then um, I drive, I get there, and then it's like, okay, you're at your destination. And all of a sudden, it's like this huge building. Like, huge. It was, like, big. So, and I was like, okay, this is crazy. And, um... The woman on the phone had said, when you get there, park all the way to the right. But when you park, you have to walk all the way to the left. Because um, it's not just a preschool. Like, one-third of that big building is a preschool. I was like, okay, this is not any preschool. This is amazing, you know? So, um, I, as, I, as I was walking in or whatever, I still had in mind, like, okay, well, this doesn't seem that bad, you know? Like, it looks pretty cool. So then when I walked in, I fell in love with the environment there. As I was sitting in a chair in the entrance for, you know, to get called for my interview, I just saw so much brightness, so much, it was just such a happy environment where I'm like, oh my goodness, I love this place. I would not mind working here. Like, okay, police station, what, you know? But I was just so excited. I was like, I was just amazing. It was just such a welcoming environment. It was very, like, home, very, like, I don't know. It was just amazing. So I was like, Lord, like... I wouldn't mind working here, I guess, you know. So they called me in for my interview. And then on the spot right there, they're like, we want you to come back for a second one. So then I was like, okay, yes. Like, of course I'll come back, you know. After seeing um, everything and I got a tour of the school and it was just amazing. I loved it so much. I was like, okay, I don't care if I don't get that. Pol After that interview, I was like, I don't care if I don't get the police station one. I want to work here. I love it. So in my first interview, we didn't talk about... Um, how much they were going to pay. I had no idea how much they were going to pay me. I was just thinking, well, it's gonna, it's definitely going to be a low pay because, I mean, most preschools, they, you know, they give low pay unless it's, like, private or, like, you know, you know, up there, you know. So, 
I was like, well, it is a preschool. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get low pay. I'm like, but I don't care. I love this place. So um, I came back for a second interview, and the second interview was to, like, interact with children, which obviously I already had the experience from working with children in Sunday school. So, and it's very different, obviously, like, Sunday school to preschool because it's something, like, public. But, um... It ends up being that I came back from my second interview and they're like, okay, um, we'll talk to you. We'll get, we'll, we'll contact you if you get that job or not. In that time, I went in to take my um, police aid test. So I went in and I had researched like, okay, what is this test about? How, what, you know, how does it, how is it? What's on the test or whatever, you know? There's no official like, okay, here's your study guide, study it. There's no official paper like that or anything like that. But there was a packet online that I found that was kind of like an example, I guess you can say. Like an example of how I went. So I took that test many times and I was like, this is so easy. Like, it's so easy. It was very easy. I was like, okay. I took the practice test many times. I passed it all the time. Like, I passed every time. It was just so easy. Then I go in for the real test. Like, the real deal. I walk in there and it's just three of us three of us like they're, they're students as well like there's two students and there's two students and myself well also student three of us so then i was like oh my goodness like this is very uh competitive then because i had i did had i had gotten an email um saying that i was chosen out of five out of five uh, people to be um considered for the job so i went in and only three of us showed up so the other two were automatically disqualified. So I took this test and when I opened the test, I was like, oh my goodness, I have no idea what this is. I under I did not understand anything on the test. I was like, okay, what is this? This is nothing compared to the test I took online. The one online was way much easier than this one. This one was so difficult. I was like, what? Like, if you're a criminal justice major, you would definitely get this because of all the terminology and all that stuff. But for me, I'm just like, okay, I have no idea what this is. I'm going to pray. So I prayed. And, yeah, I don't think it was God's will for me to, like, uh, be a police aide because I didn't pass the test. Which is actually a good thing because I ended up getting the other job. So anyway, so I was kind of bummed that I didn't pass. But then I got an email saying, congratulations, you are an official uh, member of the preschool. So then they're like, we just want you to come in so we could talk about your wage, your wage how much you're going to be getting and so on, right? So I go in and I have no idea. I'm already with like having low expectations, even though I had prayed like, God, I want a high paying job with this and that. that, that. I was so picky. <laughs> I go in and we talk about um, my the contract and everything about how long I want to work there, etc. And go on, go on. And so I go in and uh, we're talking about like the contract, what what is my job description, what I'm actually going to be doing, and everything. And then we start talking about the money. And then in my mind, I was like, Lord, I don't care. At least ten dollars, nothing below that. At least ten dollars an hour. At least, Jesus, like please, Jesus, you know. <laughs> so then um, my boss saying. I'm not going to say how much, but it is more than that. Definitely more than what I expected. They're like, you're going to just, they're like, just to start you off. Kind of this. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, are you kidding me? That's perfectly fine. Are you kidding me? It was just amazing. I was like, oh, okay, sounds great. You know, when do I start? You know, and they're like, okay, you can start next week. And I was just like, mind blown. I left that place being a member of the preschool and it was just amazing. It was like exactly what I have had asked for. So I was very mind blown and I was just like, oh my goodness, Lord, thank you so much. Like I, I feel like crying right now because God is just so good. If you're developing a relationship was very important because then you get these amazing perks of like getting exactly what you wanted. Like that was crazy, you know? So every day I go into work, I'm always like, I can't believe I get paid for this. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm getting paid for something that I really love doing. So I just really wanted to share with you that um, anything is possible. If you pray and you're detailed, if you're specific, God will definitely answer your prayers. And he will give you the desires of your heart. He knows what you want. And um, if you just ask, he will definitely give it to you. I really hope that you like this video. If, and if you have any thoughts or any questions about um, what I just talked to you about, please leave it in a comment down below. And I would gladly answer as soon as possible, as soon as I can. I will definitely get back to you. And thank you so much for watching. Until next video.